Christ for the World Missions welcomes you to Manifest God. The global church and movement founded by the one and only Dr. Baruch Gideon Apal and Bishop Queen. Join us from wherever you are in the world for powerful teachings, powerful praises, powerful worship, and most importantly, the Word of God. Join us to manifest God with Christ for the World Missions, touching the world one heart at a time. Find shelter in the Secret Place prayer platform. This is Manifest God. Shalom, welcome to Manifest God TV, the Secret Place prayer platform. This is Bishop Queen. Before we start, shall we share a quick word of prayer? Thank you, Father, this evening. We just want to glorify your name. We bless you. We honor you. We adore you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you as we are coming to talk about you. We ask you, O oh God, to lead us in everything that we do. We commit our audience before you. We pray that, Lord, your word will touch them minister to them that as we speak salvation will come as you speak oh god healing deliverance will come that lord you open the understanding of your people that lord god the mission and commission that you have given to us in this festive season in this christmas season father we will not miss the point but lord we will focus on you and give you praise and glory that souls will be won to you we give you thanks, praise, and glory. Thank you for all that you have done and all that you are about to do for us this very day. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God once again. Welcome to this telecast. And I want to use this opportunity to um, thank God for the life of our um, overseer, or the visionary for this platform, Dr. Baruch, he says his love and greetings. He is not around with us this um, uh, very time, but his spirit is here with us. So uh, regards and greetings from and love from Dr. Baruch. We give God praise. And it's been a while, but um, we've been busy doing the work of God. But today it has pleased the Lord in this um festive season we'll be bringing you different programs and we believe that you'll be blessed but as we continuously say when you get something that is good you don't keep it to yourself but what do you do you tell a friend to tell a friend so they can be part of it glory be to god hallelujah we give god praise so we thank god for today and so um, we are still, uh, we've just ended, uh, Manifest God 2022 has just ended, and so we are moving on, but we are still in the mood of prayer, amen, prayer is the master key, it's one of the tools that God has given us, and we will never ever be tired of praying, as the Bible commissioned us to pray without ceasing. Glory be to God. So today, uh, we are going to look at um, the gift that keeps giving. Praise God, the gift that keeps giving. And for us, if we look at um, John 3, 16, it tells us that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but what have everlasting life and once we connect child of god once we connect with this gift glory be to god who is jesus we all we have to do is that once we connect to him the bible tells us that we have what eternal life we have everlasting life and when that gift is introduced to us which we have now what we have to do is to pass the gift on, praise God, pass that gift on to another person. And when we pass it on to them, they don't remain the same. They also have 
everlasting life. They also have the eternal life and they receive that life and their life changes totally. And the cycle never is never lost. It goes round and round. So it's the gift that keeps giving. Jesus is a gift to us. Glory be to God. And the gift came to the world as a little baby. That is why we are having all these decorations and lights and things that are going on. It's all about Jesus, child of God. We don't have to miss out the point. You know, we don't have to miss out the point. He, he is a gift that was given to us. But that gift is so precious. The gift is powerful. The gift is the king of kings. Glory be to God. This is all about Christ, Christmas. This is all, when we say Christmas, it's all about Jesus. Glory be to God that our Lord and Savior was born to us. Seriously, um, a lot of controversies goes on to say that he wasn't um, born on this day he wasn't born but for me child of god i just want you to know for me i have this opinion i don't really care about what date that he was born what date he was born or what day he was born or when he was born i don't care about it all I care about is that he was born. <laughs> Hallelujah. All I care about is that he was born. And he is the reason for this season. Glory be to God. He is the reason for this season. So I care about the fact that our Lord and Master Jesus was born. I care about the fact that he came from heaven. Glory be to God. He came from heaven to us. I care about the fact that he is the very present help that we need. He is practical. He is a gift that is practical and he is a gift that is satisfying. So these are the things that I care about. I care about the fact that once I was lost, but because of him, today my name is written in the book of life. Glory be to God. That is what I care about, that because of him, this precious gift that was given, because he was born, hallelujah, because he was born, he came to die for my sins. I was somewhere so far away in the dark, but because of him, he came to redeem me. He came and he forgives me. His forgiveness is constant. His forgiveness is continuous. Glory be to God. And above all, he's given me eternal life. So these are the things that I care about. I don't care about whether he, 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 he was born on a, a, a different date or it's, was he born or not. My What I care about is that. He came, he was born. I care about the fact that he is a perfect gift. And once we have him, hallelujah, and that is what we are talking about. Once we have him, we have everything. So these are the kind of things that we have to be thinking of and we have to be mindful of. I care about the fact that he is the most precious gift that keeps on giving hallelujah he is a universal gift glory be to god he says that for god so loved the world he loves the world so he is a, 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 an eternal or universal gift that was given to the world for god so loved the world that he gave he loved us the whole world and so is universal when you have him and the whole world can have him. And also he says, he, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, his universal, a universal gift, at the same time, he's a personal gift. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That is what I love about this God that we serve. He is giving his son to the whole world at the same time. He singled you and I out and he has given him to us. So this gift keeps evolving. It goes round and round and round. And so in this festive season, that is what we have to be thinking about. Our Lord and Savior that was born to us, a precious gift. And the gift that 
keeps on going round and round. I get it, I pass it on. You get it, you pass it on. You pass it on, so we will be talking about that. But as we are talking about a gift that keeps on giving, or a gift that keeps giving. I love stories. And um, I feel stories when you read, we, we relate to stories. Glory be to God. So this is a true story that happened. Um, a young man lost his, his father, uh, who was a great businessman. So this guy thought, um, I'm going to follow the footsteps of my father to take up the business that his father has built for 25 years and over and the mother was thinking you know it's going to be a pressure to you you know don't worry if you can't take it on don't take it on but this young man wanted to be the hero you know to um uh, take on the father's business and support the family support the mom so he took on the challenge but as life will have it, he is inexperienced. He's not an experienced business um, person. So the uh, business world and the partners and people around, you know, they took advantage over this. And, be, and due to that of the boy's inexperience in business, uh, eventually the business collapsed. And this boy was kind of like there was no more customers, you know, creditors are chasing after him. You know, everything was gone. A business that the father has um, worked hard and left for over 25 years, this is gone. And the guy was in, in this is a true story. He was weeping, you know, praying and weeping. God, what should I do? I can't face my creditors. I can't face my mother. I can't face myself. I can't stand myself. And whilst he was praying and, you know, weeping, there was a knock at, at his door. He opened the door and a, an old man, an elderly man came to him. And he handed him an envelope. And he says, what is this? And he says, take it, open it, read it, check it. The guy opened, the young man opened the envelope and it was $50,000. This is long time ago. $50,000 cash. During those days, they deal with cash a lot. They don't have, they didn't have all these um, facilities of having bank transfer and cards and stuff. If you are my age, you will understand, you will understand that there were, was time like that before. Now everything is changing. So raw cash, $50,000. And he says, what is this? And he says, um, take this. I have heard about what has happened to your father's business. Um, so take this uh, as a loan and work with it. When you are able to pay it, bring it back it's a loan and the guy was saying i don't have any collateral i don't have anything everything is lost and the guy said just work with it so he took the money now by now even now it's still huge money so by now it's, it's it will go run about one million dollars or one million pounds investment that he has put in this young man who had just lost everything you know due to the fact that he was inexperienced but at this time, when he took on that, that 50000 loan that this old elderly man brought to him, with the experience that now he's seen through the loss of his business, he started trading with it. He started working. He started doing more business. And by the grace of God, the business was growing. More customers was coming. It was beyond his wildest dream. Um, within a few years, this guy, this young man was able to, with ease, pay off the $50,000. So he took the, the, the money, put it back in the envelope. This is a true story. Put it back in the envelope and went to the elderly man who handed him this loan. He knocked at his door and the man opened him and said, Oh, you are here with the envelope. I see you've done well. The elderly man took the envelope, counted the money. It was $50,000. And then he said, he said to him, now listen to a story within a story. And he handed the $50,000 back to the young man. It says, I'm not taking this, but hear my story. Few years ago, I was in business like you were, 
and you know i i became proud i thought you know i've had it all i stopped giving my charity that i was giving i started i stopped doing the things that i was doing good as the scripture has commissioned me to do and what happened because of my pride you know the business world sometimes things go up sometimes things goes down and due to the economy or the crash in the business everything went uh, down you know his business he lost everything and whilst he was it's like looking back and praying to god repenting and praying there was a knock at his door and he opened the door and when he opened the door a man came and handed him fifty thousand dollars and he said to him i have heard what has happened to you and i hope and i believe that you've now learned your lesson that it is God that gives us the power to make wealth. And when you get it, you have to make sure that you are giving to the poor and the needy. All the things you started doing before that you stopped doing. So take this $50,000 and work with it. And the elderly man worked with the business, worked with the money that he got. And he worked with it. And he said to him, so the day and, and the commission that was given to him is, when you are able to pay it, the man said to him, to the elderly man, don't bring it back to me, but find somebody who needs it and give the money to the person. So the day I knocked, so now the elderly man is telling him, the young man, that the day I knocked at your door was the day I was repaying my loan. And now you have come back with the loan. I am not taking it. I'm also giving you the same mandate I was given years ago. I'm, I'm also giving you the same mandate to do what? To go and find somebody who needs this gift and pass it on. Glory be to God. So, child of God, with this story in mind, that $50,000 was passing on and passing on and passing on they didn't they didn't keep it so with this story in mind it's telling us that we as believers jesus is a gift that has been given to us and it's an eternal gift a gift that when we get you don't keep it to yourself and that is our motto that we keep saying that when you get something that is good don't keep it Share it. Give it to somebody else. In this festive time, this is what we have to do. Pass on the love of Jesus. Pass on the love of Christ. Pass on the love of God. He came that we will have eternal life. He came to the world that we will have eternal life. Whosoever, us, as we receive him, we shouldn't keep him to ourselves. In this time where everybody is busy, Everybody is going around doing whatever they want to do, forgetting about the main aim. That is what we have to think about. That is what you have to think, think about at this festive season. What are you passing on? What gift are you giving to somebody? Somebody needs it. We needed it. Glory be to God. We needed it and God has given to us. So we should forget about all these controversial uh, matters that are around. He wasn't born on this. Was he born or not? Our Christ was born. And um, we want to read the book of um, Isaiah 9, 6. It says, For unto us, unto you and I, a child is born. Glory be to God. That is why I started my open um, uh, statement. Mm open statement yeah yeah i started my <laughs> well the open statement that's what i know to say open statement by saying that i don't care when he was born whether he was born in january or he was born in april or he was born in july all that i care about is that the savior our lord jesus christ was truly born to us and he's a gift so as we have this gift, we don't keep it to ourselves. Just like the story. You know, when I, I read the story and the man, the young man himself wrote the story. that this is a true story. So this gift is passing on. Whoever gets the gift 
must not be selfish to keep it. But what we have to do is realize that this gift, when I needed it, it was passed on to me. Somebody is looking up to you. All we need to do is to pass it on. And sometimes, you know, we don't have to go far. We will be looking at it. We don't have to go far. In our homes, we should start. We should start in our homes, giving it out, giving the love of Jesus, sharing the love of Jesus. A lot, a lot, a lot is missing out in these days. You know, crowding our minds and crowding ourselves with all things that are going on. But the true gift that you can give to somebody, that they can have eternal love, you've passed on life to that person, is our Lord Jesus Christ. For unto us, a child is born. So whilst this child is born, we know that this child is not an ordinary child. Yes, he came as a child, but he grew to uh, as the, he is the word of God. Glory be to God. He grew as the word of God. We'll be looking into that next week. But then we are looking at, he says, and a son is given unto us, is given to all of us. Glory be to God. He was not given to a particular group of people. Our Lord Jesus has been given to us all. So today we are, as we are looking at the gift that keeps giving, that gift has been given to us. What are you doing with the gift of Jesus? That's the question. What are we doing with the gift of Jesus? Sometimes all you need to do is to smile at somebody at work. What you have to do is to just tell somebody Jesus loves you. All you have to do is just give a helping hand. And whilst you are doing it, the act of kindness that you are showing to somebody, the act of love that we are showing to someone, we don't, this is what is now transmitting through us, the gift that we have. We are passing it on. But we love reading this scripture. Hopefully, by his grace, next week, we will be looking at it. Uh, Acts 1, 8. That says that, you know, we receive the Holy Spirit. He has given us, when we receive the Holy Spirit, we receive power. It doesn't end there. The, 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 the scripture doesn't end there. But most of us, all we talk about is receiving the Holy Spirit and having power. It doesn't end there. The, the, the gift that has been given to us is not for us to keep. Just like the story that we heard, had the man, the elderly man, uh, if he had kept that loan because he was given a command, the man, the, uh, the first man that gave it to the elderly man was never seen. He never came back. But he said, don't pay it. That's why he said, don't pay it back to me. Just find somebody this Christmas. Find somebody to share the gift of Christ. This festive time, find somebody to share the gift of Christ. And sometimes that somebody will, is in your home. Amen. Let's start from our home. Because when we look at the scripture that I'm talking about, that I haven't finished, um, Acts 1, 8, most believers, if not 98%, knows about this scripture that he gave us the Holy Spirit. When we receive the Holy Spirit, we receive power. But it doesn't end there. The power that he gave us so that we will be witnesses. Glory be to God. So we will be witnesses. And our witness starts from where? It doesn't start outside. Our witnesses doesn't start outside. Our witnessing doesn't start outside. It starts from within. It starts in our home. So this Christmas, uh, look, in, look into yourself. Look around you. Who, who is your neighbor? Who is your family? Who is around you? Who doesn't know this gift of Christ? All we have to do is to look for someone and share that gift. That child was born to us and he is a son that has been given to us. He has been given to the widow. He has been given to the poor. He has been given to the rich. He has been given to the educated. He has been given to the uneducated. He has been given to the royal family. Whoever, whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have what? Everlasting life eternal life. Glory be to God. So this is the commission as we start this festive season. Keep thinking about this. Jesus is a gift 
that keeps giving. And praise be to his name, we have that gift. We must pass the gift on to somebody. Somebody truly needs you to be the person who will pass Jesus on. Glory be to God. Uh, time is not permitting us. We will stop here. But next week or in, in the next program, this is um, part one, we will carry on part two on Jesus, the gift that keeps giving. Shall we share a quick word of prayer? Father, I thank you and I bless you for today. Thank you for sharing your word with us as we have heard your word. Help us, O oh God, to be good stewards of what you have given us as your gift, our Lord Jesus Christ, that we will pass it on to all who needs our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you and we bless you in Jesus' mighty name. And if you are listening to me and you don't know Jesus, I want to pass him on to you right now. So I want you to say after me, Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner. I ask you for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins. You rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you into my heart and into my life. I want to trust you with every fiber of my being and I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Amen. If you have said this simple prayer, that is how the gift of Jesus has passed on to you. And what have you gotten now? You have eternal life. Hold on to that gift, grow in that gift, increase in that gift, and pass the gift on to somebody else. This is Bishop Queen here. Um, I, I, I believe we will see you again uh, in our next um, segment. And so God bless you. Shalom.